the highlight, of course, is the physical chemistry textbook author, currently, I think, of the world. And he's much more, it's Peter Atkins. You know him already? His physical chemistry book is in our program for 22 years now, and it served thus 22 generations, 22 generations of physical chemistry students, and ready for this event, we tried to launch an e-version, a modern version. Because signing of e-versions is tricky, we ask you to bring your copies, your old print copies with you, or buy a new one to get it signed. But for those who have been unable to do so, we have created uh, nice reading signs, bookmarks, and um, perhaps you can convince Peter to sign on this and uh, put it in your book. But now I'm handing over. Peter, now it's your turn. Well, I had a long turn last night, so I will not take very much of your time today. But it's a pleasure to know that I have contributed to at least 10% of Wiley's history and to 25% of, um, of ECH's history. And I have known Eva since she was about two, so I <laughs> have also contributed to her history. But I thought that what I would use this opportunity to do, uh, looking for a theme, was to think about the, the pain and the pleasure of being an author. And so I will spend 10 seconds on the pleasure and the rest of my time on, 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 on the pain. But the pleasure, I think, is knowing that wherever you go in the world, there are friends, people who are acquainted with you. And it is always a pleasure to get off an aeroplane and find that people are there knowing you. It's also a pleasure really to reach out to the minds of young people and to try to encourage them to think in a particular way because it is my belief that thinking scientifically is such an important contribution to the culture of an individual and so it is a pleasure to work out through books into people's minds. It's also a pleasure to work with a variety of publishers, and I include VCH there. Although many people are suspicious of the role of publishers in publication, they are absolutely central, I find, because they provide intelligence back from the field. They give you advice on competition and advice on procedures and advice on content. And I think those of you who think that publishers are not necessary should speak to an author. But what about the pain? Well, the pain is really very considerable. Um, in, in order to write a book, you need to be obsessed. And so one of the greatest types of pain was to have to give up doing fundamental research. It's impossible to have two obsessions. To do research, as everyone here knows, you need to be obsessed with what you are doing. But also to write a book, and certainly a series of books, you need to be obsessed. Otherwise, they never get done. Um, and so I, very early in my career, I had to give up doing research, and that really is the greatest pain. Now I just encourage other people to prepare themselves into doing research. I mean, another aspect of obsession is that I suppose I get through about one wife per edition, because <laughs> they really can't stand the <laughs> The, the amount of attention that I give to a book and think that they should have the, um, the attention. 
that I'm now working on the ninth edition it does not mean I'm now working on my ninth wife, but I'm afraid the numbers are not too dissimilar. <laughs> I, I think the, the, another kind of pain is that although software comes along and helps you communicate, software also increases the challenge. So in particular, as I have been talking about visualization, every time a new piece of software comes along, designed to make life easier, in fact, it presents a challenge because you want to use it. You want to explore new frontiers. And I think that is um, a real challenge. But I think the, the worst pain is about to come. I think the, the pain of the electronic book is going to be long-lasting and extreme. In a paper book, there comes a stage where you say, I have finished. You give it to the publisher, and you don't see it again for four or five years until you come to do the new edition. But with electronic publishing, the publication becomes a continuum. You, there is never a moment when you can stop fiddling with what you have already done. And so I'm afraid electronic publishing for the author is going to be a serious drain on his time. I think also, in a sense, the personality of a book might become diluted. Because in order to produce an electronic book, you ne really need to be a kind of Steven Spielberg character. You need to be able to coordinate a, a wide range of different aspects of a whole production. And whereas for a book, a printed book, an author can just about cope and can just about coordinate all the different types of components. So it is the end of the individual author and the beginning of the committee, I'm afraid. But let us hope that out of those committees there will emerge new Steven Spielbergs who will be able to f take a grip and show that they can really master a wide range. But I've spoken enough. I know you came here for the everything else that is on the table rather than the books. I, I would like publicly to thank Ava for all that she and Wiley VCH do for me, but I would also like to thank all of you and your students because I could not do this work without coming here, talking to you, listening to you, and paying attention to you. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you very much indeed.